uh, the faculty of biochemistry in dams working with the dams for the last seven years almost okay <coughs> and uh, uh, all of you guys uh, you know are already attending the classes and enjoying them definitely right hope you're enjoying so this is one of the subject <coughs> you know biochemistry right that is uh, not taught in medical college isn't it right <laughs> You know, it is <clears throat> it is uh, the one subject which is good enough to change the chemical balance, you know, of our brains, right? <clears throat> so, okay. First of all, I welcome all of you in this demo session. Okay. So, how many of you are uh, already? Uh, you know, uh, done with the subject, at least have the basic knowledge. You know, why I choose this subject, this topic, fructose, because, you know, this is a topic that we can easily learn, you know, based on our knowledge of glycolysis, right? If I remember glycolysis, that everyone knows, right? Then I can understand this topic, that is fructose. Okay, <clears throat> so, okay, so without wasting time, let's start, okay? Fructose, you know, uh, like why we call it, you know, the word sweet poison. Okay, so I, I use this term that is sweet poison, right? <clears throat> okay, so you know, uh, fructose is something that is, you know, is nowadays very much highlighted in our diet, right? In the research by the doctors, okay, and the scientists, and they have highlighted its importance in our diet. Previously, it was ignored okay and it was thought that you know this is the sugar which is actually uh, not uh, metabolized with the help of insulin you know the metabolism of fructose is insulin independent so it was thought that the sugar is totally harmless right okay only glucose is a sugar which can cause harm right like in diabetics like in anyone okay but <clears throat> right so rashi i'm uh, yes i'm coming to the topic here yeah. We will discuss why why I uh, use the term sweet poison, you know, sweet poison, meetha uh, zahar, right? So, uh, like, why we choose this term, this is the term that I didn't choose, actually this is a common term nowadays for the fructose. So, it is bad, definitely consumed in high quantities, okay? We will see why this is bad, consumed in <coughs> very high quantities, okay? Okay? So, meetha to hai, but you know it is not good if consumed in high quantities. Okay, and meetha to dard bhi hota nahi, meetha to ish bhi hota like Hindi, agar tum movies dekhte ho to, hai na? Right? You know, lyricist kya bolna chahta hai, samajh nahi aata. Right? So, chalo, let's uh, let's start. Okay? So, I'm I'm. Uh, Okay, Sahaj, Preet, how are you? So, we will start with the fructose metabolism. Okay, <clears throat> so guys, fructose. First of all, uh, so what I told you, we should remember just the glycolysis. If you know glycolysis, you can easily understand this topic with the clinical correlations that I will discuss. Okay, so what are the sources of, uh, as you all know, like the sources, the most common sources are honey. Okay. They were in, in, in biochemistry when we start we should always have some things in our mind. Okay. mind before starting any pathway. We should have some points in our mind, like you know what is the site of this pathway, for example. Okay, how much ATPs are used or produced in this pathway, right? Then we should know what is the rate limiting step, right, or the regulation of this pathway. Okay, that I will tell you, for example, in this case, there is no regulation, you know, fructose is, metabolism is something which is unregulated pathway and that's why it is a bad, bad, very bad sugar. Okay, that we will discuss. Okay, so ATP and uh, then we should know, uh, you know, uh, like, is there any, uh, you know, clinical correlation with this? Okay, so clinical points, if they are present, Definitely, so that is the future of exams. Okay, so basic things with the clinical correlation. So this time in INICT there were around 13 MCQs from Biochem, and that was a big number. 
Okay, it was a very very big number, right? Okay, compared to the like other subjects which are almost equal, and like for example, even the big subjects like PSM and uh, you know <coughs> and uh, Gynae, they were also of the same numbers. Like PSM was even six or seven questions. Gynae was around fifteen to sixteen questions, so it's almost equal. So we we cannot predict exams, right? So we should always be ready with our basic preparation. Okay, and we at DAMS we always try to do. The basic preparation, not very high five. You know, questions must you must have the preparation of the basic knowledge, the conceptual knowledge, right? Okay, then we can reach the topmost things, high five things. Okay, then that is the, that's the bonus point. Okay, guys, so these are the few points that we should know. So let's start without uh, wasting any any moment. Okay, yes, the toes leads to weight gain. Yes, uh, Rashi. Don't worry. Let's see. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, in the fructose metabolism, so I'm talking about fructose, the poisonous sugar. Okay, let's see why it's poisonous. So guys, sources definitely. Okay, that we have is honey and fruits are the day-to-day -day sources, but the one that we forgot and we know is the beverages, right? Okay, beverages. For example, Coke. Huh? Fruit juices. Right, so they are super rich in fructose. Like you know, uh, just a 350 ml of Coke is around um, having 40 grams of sugar. So what is the sweetener used most commonly? Fructose or the high fructose corn syrup, right? Like HFCs. So they are the day-to-day -day sources that we have in our diet. Okay. Now, what is the major site of the metabolism of the fructose? So guys, it is liver. Okay, it is liver. And uh, so we should know the organ and we should know the site in the organ. So cytoplasm. Okay, so liver cytoplasm. So other tissues are unable to use much, right? They don't have the enzymes, right? For using the fructose properly. So <clears throat> this is the site. Okay. Now we will take the basic, first of all the metabolic pathway and then we will see the implications or the questions or the clinical implications, right? Okay, so first of all the basic metabolism, the steps that we have, so guys always whenever the sugar, so F of fructose, okay, whenever the fructose or any sugar is, you know, uh, it is uh, entering into our cells, right? Okay, so we use an enzyme that is called as fructokinase. So guys, always the first enzyme is kinase, glucokinase, galactokinase, now it is fructokinase for example, right. So why the kinase? Because kinase uses the ATP, so it transfers the phosphate from ATP to the fructose. So guys, what we get? Fructose 1-phosphate, okay, fructose 1-phosphate, we'll see it is very toxic, how? We'll see later. Now this fructose one phosphate. <coughs> so yeah, glycolysis me you all know kya bandha fructose six uh, one six bisphosphate or the fructose six phosphate first. Okay. Now in our liver we have an enzyme that's called as aldolase B. Okay. So normally what enzyme we have aldolase A for all the tissue. Just remember A for all the tissue and B for only present in liver. Now B for we cannot correlate like that, but A for all the tissue, B is only found in liver and that is only for, it is the other name for this enzyme is fructose 1-phosphate aldolase, right, that's the <coughs> other name, yes Sahaj Preet, I will tell you, fructose is bad for everyone including diabetics, okay, right, <coughs> so fructose 1-phosphate is now Acted upon by the aldolase. So, guys, you know aldolase is an enzyme which belongs to the class 4 lyase group of enzyme, which are nothing but some enzymes which breaks the molecule. Right? So, this will break the molecule. So, as you know, fructose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, this is carbon number 1 having phosphate. Okay, so like that. So, I will break it into two parts. So, when you break it into two parts, you get dihydroxyacetone phosphate. So we don't have any phosphate at carbon number 6, you know, just like in glycolysis, compared to glycolysis. <coughs> so what we get? Dihydroxyacetone phosphate 3 carbon, okay, 
and we get the glycerol dehyde. Okay, glycerol dehyde. Fine. So your yeah, first MCQ here I can tell you uh, in, in the topic itself that is that we don't get G3P directly. So we don't get glycerol dehyde 3-phosphate directly as we get in uh, glycolysis. Right. So what next we can do is this glycerol dehyde will be acted upon by the enzyme that's called as triose kinase. So what we get is glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate okay okay <clears throat> so glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate fine even if i uh, you know uh, do this that this dhap you know this is also three carbon just like in glycolysis if i use enzyme that is called as triose isomerase right triose isomerase if i use then again i get g3p Right, so basically, you know, I have the two molecules of G3P. Now, guys, this will enter into the glycolysis. Okay, as such, the topic is fructose, right? Metabolism in health and disease. Okay, so what we get is from this uh, G3P. Kya uh, now it's glycolysis, yes, I'm not uh, taking much. Okay, so uh, you know, glycolysis, if you remember, there are three enzymes which are regulator, regulatory enzymes. Rate limiting to AKA on the PFK1. Glycolysis may rate limiting AKA PFK1. So that is not used here. So it is an unregulated pathway. And I will write that again. So, you know, I'm just writing this point because there are three enzymes total in the glycolysis which are regulatory. So, hexokinase which was already used, so it is not used here. Second was PFK1, it is not used here. So, third is pyruvate kinase which will be used here, right? So, pyruvate kinase, okay? Pyruvate kinase is the name of enzyme. That is actually a limiting, uh, not exactly the rate limiting, but regulatory enzyme and very important enzyme. So this pyruvate kinase is the only uh, regulatory enzyme which is used here to make the pyruvate. Okay, pyruvate. But there is this is itself activated by fructose. Okay, activated by fructose or products of the fructose like fructose 1 phosphate, fructose 6 phosphate like that. Okay, so in glycolysis we see for feed forward activation. So this is basic. Huh? Right, this pyruvate we get. Now this pyruvate will convert into acetyl coenzyme A. So you have, right, uh, yes, right. So you have the enzyme which is known as pyruvate dehydrogenase. Okay, this acetyl CoA will enter into the PCA cycle. This happens normally. Okay, this can happen happen normally. Fine. <clears throat> but we can have multiple points here to understand now. So if we say once we revise again, fructose metabolism occurs in liver. There are just two important names of enzymes that you must remember. Okay. So first enzyme is fructokinase, which transfers the phosphate. Why phosphate? Because phosphate is negatively charged and this traps the sugar inside the cell. Negatively charged molecules cannot, you know, um, go back to the, out of the cell by crossing the membranes, as you know. Second enzyme that we use is agarase B. So these two enzymes are most important to remember. So agarase B produces glyceraldehyde, not G3P. So compared to glycolysis, this was MCQ. But what are the products of agarase B? So it is not G3P. Remember that. Okay. So what we get ultimately by the various, uh, you know, uh, isomerization reaction, we get ultimately glycerol dehydrate 3-phosphate, which enters the glycolysis, which is now unregulated glycolysis. Only one step is regulated, but it is also activated by fructose. So it is overall a unregulated pathway, right? So guys, fructose metabolism is unregulated. First thing to remember. Right, it is insulin independent. Okay, insulin independent. Fine. Okay, then fructokinase 
is a very fast enzyme. Okay, fructokinase uh, is a very fast enzyme. Right, means Vmax is a fast enzyme. So, what is a fast enzyme? Means rapid. This will cause a rapid phosphorylation of the fructose. I will tell you everything why I am writing this. Okay, rapid phosphorylation of the fructose to fructose one phosphate. Okay, fructose to fructose one phosphate, and why this is dangerous. Okay. Second point to remember is hexokinase. See the name hexokinase is not for glucose. Hexokinase can bind galactose also, can fructose also, but it has a very very low KM, uh, I mean to say low affinity. So hexokinase has very high KM for fructose. So hexokinase normally doesn't metabolize much of the fructose. Okay, like other cells. <clears throat> so that is good actually, huh? otherwise all the cells will start using fructose and they will rapidly phosphorylate the fructose to fructose and phosphate and this will lead to all the ATP depletion from the cells, we will see that. Right guys, so this point. <clears throat> now, uh, let's talk about energetics. So guys, I am writing just one line that energetics is same as glucose. Okay, it is same as glucose. Fine. Okay, so it will also produce 32 ATPs. Yes, I believe. Okay, so it will produce how many ATPs total? Because ultimately entering into glycolysis now. Simple now. It is ultimately entering into the glycolysis. So that's why 32 ATPs. A ATP used for fructokinase step just like uh, hexokinase. One ATP was used by the triose kinase, so which which will be same as the one ATP used by the PFK. So Rest will be the same. So same now, no change. This question a lot of students ask the energy will be same or different. There was a question names also. So it is same. Okay, same as the glucose. <coughs> right. Now regulation, there is no regulation. Okay. Now guys, clinically, let's see what are the important point. Okay. So you know uh, disorders. Okay. So let's talk about disorders first. Then I'll talk about excess fructose and uh, you know why in the people why it is dangerous. So disorders. So first disorder is the essential fructose urea. Okay, essential fructose urea. It's a benign condition, right? So guys, it is not toxic. It is a benign condition right fine what happens here there is minus means deficient fructokinase enzyme first step is deficient so what will happen so the fructose which is now unmetabolized okay so fructose is not metabolized and this fructose will appear in the urine. Why? Because you know uh, the kidney or the, there is no renal threshold, right? So renal threshold is very low. So as you know, glucose has a renal threshold of 180 mg per dl, but fructose has no or very minimal renal threshold. So this will, if it is un unmetabolized, it will appear in my urine. This is the reason why we call it fructose urea, right? Okay. So fructose is always present in the urine. Okay. Right, so, so this is a benign condition causing no problems. So this will be just if you want to test it. Suppose uh, you are testing a patient. You send send the sample of uh, you know urine for some routine or testing for some other purpose okay for screening diabetes etc for example so in this case what will happen guys the urine will be positive for reducing substances okay reducing substances now that doesn't mean it is glucose no? so how we can identify but there is negative glucose oxidase test 
so you can say positive benedict test as you know already okay positive so these questions which are very basic they have been asked in aims neat pg everywhere right okay so like reducing substances positive so benedict positive but glucose oxidase test which is the specific test for glucose is negative clear okay understood everyone so this will not this will be the case okay so what else you can see right you can do some other test for example there is a simple test which is not costly at all see chromatography can be done for identifying the sugars but you know that is a very costly test okay and uh, not recommended to every patient right so just to rule out you know a simple medical college biochemistry lab can do this test you know if uh, the mbbs lab actually you know first year mbbs lab selivan of test as you have done in your first year so this will be also positive understood to ye basic cheeze this these are the basic things that you should never never forget okay fine <clears throat> so you should never forget this these are the basic things okay right so i can say clear benedict positive hai but glucose oxidase negative i can even say it is galactose okay galactose is also giving glucose oxidase negative but giving benedict positive so galactosemia patient can also have such information so how will you identify it right so then you know such test can be helpful or the patient history can be helpful you know I'll, i'll i'll show you the questions the patient history can be helpful here right yeah it is not galactose it is fructose we will see how and now let's say patient had history of consuming high sugar sugary foods right okay we'll see so ye to bahut hi simplified mcq that is essential fructose urea right now the second topic i mean second question in this is okay second disease that we should remember is hereditary that is one of the favorite of examiners hereditary fructose intolerance okay hereditary fructose intolerance clear <clears throat> so if we saliva now just you should remember the name you know uh, nobody will ask you the details you know we are at the stage you know when once you appear for the exams like this you know i can tell you definitely but uh, there are a lot of lot of test that you will at least you should remember the names okay because end of the day we don't even remember the names of the test huh? recently there was a question on uh, you know on one of the test that was on the bilirubin i just missed out okay so the name was important actually okay so hereditary fructose intolerance okay so let's see what what is that there is a deficiency of the enzyme that is called as aldolase b it's one of the highly repeated mcq okay and it is one of the highly tested clinical question also let's see what happens here okay so you know guys this patient right let's see one of the question and then we'll be able to understand this okay first let me tell you so suppose there was a uh, baby right 6 months old right and the baby has okay baby has uh, baby was taking the breast milk right till 6 month exclusive breast feed then the baby was weaned weaning phase huh? so top feed was given top foods were given so foods were given which contains sucrose which is made of fructose also right fructose is there in the sucrose so after <coughs> taking the you know top feeds like cereal like suppose okay or some other foods okay so after taking the top feed the baby develops some clinical features slowly and slowly huh? like the baby becomes lethargic drowsy sleeping all the time okay then the baby become jaundiced right very light still uh, like yellow discoloration of let's say the sclera or the nails or whatever okay so baby becomes yellowish right so maybe jaundiced then <clears throat> the baby is also you know showing some features of hypoglycemia to baby like scissors like convulsions right okay so how these symptoms develop 
है ना लाइक वॉट लीवर सिम्टम्स रिलेटेड विद लीवर लाइक जॉन्डिस सिम्टम्स रिलेटेड विद इन द लीवर दैट इज हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया विच इज लीडिंग टू कन्वर्जेंस राइट ओके so later on the baby was identified by hereditary fructose intolerance let's see we'll see, see the questions also so guys in this case what happens is fructose this is all happening in liver right so fructose using 1 atp it is converted to fructose 1 phosphate now very important to understand this okay now this fructose one phosphate cannot be metabolized further why because there is deficient enzyme that is aldolase b okay so aldolase b is deficient so there is no further metabolism right guys okay so this fructose one phosphate will start accumulate okay fine <coughs> so what happens here okay so fructose one phosphate will accumulate okay and this is leading uh, because of this you know atp is depleted okay liver atp is depleted okay so why because atp is used by converting fructose to fructose one phosphate and then adp will start accumulating right okay so adp will accumulate now aap socho ki there are other ways to make adps yes but we'll see why they are not working also okay so adp is accumulating now what happens because of this so because of decrease in atp right in the liver this will lead to liver function impairment okay liver is one of the most important organ your most important organ which is the synthesizing machinery of our body which synthesizes a maximum number of proteins and need a high amount of atp every day right not the highest but high amount okay you will be surprised to know that kidney needs the highest amount of atp every day you know if we talk about per gram of the tissue weight okay so liver function impairment fine guys and this will lead to probably jaundice okay so there is if the blood test is conducted there will be high amount of which enzymes alt and ast that we routinely measure everyone clear <coughs> Roshni, let me first complete this, and uh, then I'll, I'll definitely answer your question. Okay, right. So, transaminases will be raised. <clears throat> no, how can Sahaj be? This cannot enter into the glycolysis here. Glycolysis me kaise enter hoga? We don't have any enzyme which can convert fructose one phosphate to. You know, uh, let's say fructose six phosphate. We don't have such isomerase enzymes, for example. Okay, so this is the one thing. Second thing is because of decreased in ATP, there is decreased in the gluconeogenesis. You know, guys, this needs total six ATPs are required in how much ATPs? Six ATPs in the gluconeogenesis. <coughs> okay, so. <coughs> this contributes to hypoglycemia okay this will lead to what hypoglycemia so this is not the only cause of hypoglycemia i'm telling you just one cause okay so decrease in atp will lead to decreased gluconeogenesis and hypoglycemia now when there is a decreased gluconeogenesis okay right then lactate Will accumulate. Why? Why I said this? Anyone? Anybody can answer? Can anyone answer? <clears throat> Why the lactate accumulates? Anybody? If a person is unable to do gluconeogenesis, so lactate can accumulate by there. Because anyone? I'm waiting. Because the lactate is is a substrate. of which pathway gluconeogenesis okay <clears throat> so lactate is 
accumulating. Fine. Now one more reason that I am writing here only. <coughs> because of uh, you know a decrease in ATP, what happens? Right? There is decrease in phosphate pool. Right? Okay. So all the phosphate is trapped as fructose 1 phosphate. So because of that what happens? Substrate pool, uh, phosphate pool is trapped, phosphate is trapped. So there is decreased in the glycogenolysis. Okay, there is decrease in glycogenolysis. Now you can ask me why? Because, because due to decreased activity of which enzyme the rate limiting enzyme of glycogenolysis which is called as glycogen phosphorylase if you remember if you remember right that glycogenolysis first enzyme is phosphorylase which breaks the bond between the sugars by adding phosphate Two glucose ke beech mein jo bond hai, phospho, uh, you know the bond between the two glucose is broken down with the help of phosphorylase by adding the phosphate na? so phosphate is not available so this can lead to decreased glycogenolysis and this can lead to severe hypoglycemia so one student Roshni was asking me something sequence of you know sugar maintenance blood sugar maintenance so definitely the first thing to do is glycogen degradation that is not happening here so understood everyone severe hypoglycemia everyone clear i told you the two reasons of hypoglycemia and i told you the reason for lactic acidosis so this is lactic acidosis okay everyone clear okay now one more point see with the help of ATP we can explain a lot of things because of decrease in ATP there is high amount of ATP right and uh, you know because of this there is activation of enzyme adenosine deaminase okay this enzyme will activate and there is this will be you know nucleotide catabolism pathway will start Okay, because here if, if you are unable to convert ADP back to the ATP, the nucleotide catabolism starts and this produces high amount of uric acid. So there is a very common presentation of the patient of hyper patient of hereditary fructose intolerance is hyperuricemia. <coughs> okay, hyperuricemia. Understood? If ATPs are not replenished, the ADP will be degraded. Okay, because ADP then AMP, you know, phosphate to recycle karna hai na, kaise na kaise hai. So, wo jo thoda bhot phosphate recycle karne ke liye, you have to break all the ADP again to, you know, it is like just ADP, then AMP, and then you get adenosine. So, adenosine DNA is well. <coughs> okay, so guys, hyperuricemia. Understood, everyone? Okay, so see, I explained you three things in hereditary fructose intolerance, hypoglycemia, lactic acidosis. Achha, one more thing, uric acid competes with lactic acid for excretion via the same transporter in kidney. So we have a same transporter in our kidney for uric acid excretion and lactate excretion. So this also, high uric acid also, you know, increase the chances of lactic acid. It's a very common question that you must remember. Uric acid and lactate have a common transporter. So hyperuricemic conditions may have lactic acidosis. Or lactic acidosis conditions may precipitate the gout. Acidic condition may precipitate gout. Okay. Computation, right? Okay. And uh, <clears throat> now, so that is all about the, you know, hereditary fructose intolerance. Okay, guys. Now, why we call it sweet poison for persons, people like you and me? Why this is a poison? So we don't have any disease, you know, we don't have hereditary fructose intolerance. But why consuming a high fructose is very very dangerous for us? Okay, so basic understanding of that. 
okay so high fructose like you know guys just i told you coke you know, for example now people consume it every day even some fruits like suppose uh, abhi to mango ka season chala gaya but mango is super rich in uh, you know it may have around 31 mango big mango have a 30 grams of fructose that's very high your intestine can absorb only 25 grams of fructose <clears throat> not more than that okay grapes super rich in fructose you know one cup of grapes have almost you know 15 grams of fructose so that's why you know these are the foods which are not given to diabetics okay <coughs> diabetics now guys <coughs> let's talk about this which is also mcq not this sweet poison is not mcq i mean to say question was like this this was the mcq asked the most lipogenic sugar so there were four option glucose galactose and uh, definitely the fructose okay and one more so the answer for this question is the fructose okay so this was the mcq asked three four years back okay so we should understand why this is so right abhi tak to unhone sirf example pucha ki lipogenic sugar kaun si hai now there is there are high chances they can ask you what is the reason behind that okay so guys as i told you right that fructose is converted to pyruvate okay and this is unregulated so what is this unregulated glycolysis so all this pyruvate okay can Suppose I enter into the pump here, that's the way. Now you don't need energy all the time. You know I consume the coke, let's say one hour after my meals or with the meals, suppose. Okay, or in between my meals, you know, then I don't need much high energy. Huh? So TCA, which is supposed to make energy, will not be utilized much. So this acetyl coenzyme A. Right, this will enter the pathway, okay, of the fatty acid synthesis. Right, so how it occurs? So please write, everyone. Everyone, please write. Okay, so when you eat high amount of fructose in time, so this will reach the liver. Okay. So in the liver, fructose activate a factor known as SREBP1. Okay, this is a transcription factor. You must be knowing this name. Okay, if you don't know, it's fine. So this is sterol regulatory element. What is the full form? Sterol regulatory element. Element means gene binding protein. So, sterol regulatory element, you know, regulatory elements are present on genes, and transcription factors are the factors which bind on the genes to make the RNA, and then finally proteins will be made, the enzymes. Okay. So, fructose activates this. Okay. So, this SREBP1 will activate acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase. Anyone remember this enzyme? Acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase is a rate limiting step of fatty acid synthesis. Okay, this is a rate limiting step of fatty acid synthesis. Understood? Okay, so because of this, what will happen? What is the function of this enzyme? Acetyl coenzyme A will be converted to Melonyl coenzyme A. It's a biotin dependent carboxylase. Huh? Carboxylase is a biotin dependent. Clear? So, melonyl CoA3 carbon is formed. Now, we have four of the I just want to tell you if you know well and good. If you don't know, then you can check more points on your lipid metabolism. Right? So, guys, this high amount of melonyl coenzyme A, okay, which is produced during fatty acid synthesis inhibits the carnitine 
right transport okay cpt1 guys this is the rate limiting step of fat oxidation in liver in, in, in our body right rate limiting step of beta oxidation so our liver is you know breaking fat with the help of beta oxidation so because of all these you know what happens now there is high amount of fatty acid synthesis and there is low fatty acid degradation beta oxidation not happening okay guys ye aap padhoge baad mein fir se if you don't remember cpt1 the current in palmitoyl transferase is the rate limiting step of beta oxidation of fats and it is regulated by maronyl coa so this is already mcq right so the imbalance occurs here and this leads to fatty liver right or ultimately i can also say obesity right guys this is the leading cause of obesity in americans because the study was conducted right in india we don't have such study but yes definitely this is one of the cause in india also we have you know all the western culture followed <coughs> with the high carbohydrate high fructose rich diets okay this <coughs> one okay so leading cause of obesity in the western world is the food rich in fructose so guys fatty liver the non alcoholic fatty liver disease so there is a direct link between the non alcoholic fatty liver disease and the fructose consumption okay fructose consumption understood everyone acha one more simplest concept is that you know when the fructose is metabolized right what we get is gtp and dhap okay so this is i am talking about the general population you know, like us so dhap so guys this dhap can convert directly to the glycerol 3 phosphate with the help of the enzyme same name of enzyme glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase and guys this is directly involved in tg synthesis if i add three fatty acid na so this will be tg synthesis okay so now you know the adults with high fructose diet so what are the lipid changes you will see okay so you will see hypertriglyceridemia right hypercholesterolemia okay understood and you know one more thing that is okay so these two uh, especially the lipid right and one more thing which is related to the sugar and that is hyper glycemia so i can explain this also why hyper glycemia yeah, because because you know uh, the when the fructose is converted into three carbon sugars like dhap or glyceraldehyde you know they can enter into gluconeogenesis also right okay so they can enter into the gluconeogenesis also you know suppose the fat synthesizing machinery is already saturated because of high fructose diet then this will start making glucose okay Understood, but ये यहाँ पे होगा not in aldolase B deficiency, okay? There we ended with fructose one phosphate. Understood, everyone? So that's all, okay? So what was MCQ till now asked that why, <coughs> which of the following is the most lipogenic sugar? And answer is <coughs> so as you can see, this is the reason it is not indicated also in the diabetics, okay? you cannot give fructose to diabetics in high quantities so all the foods which are rich in sugar even dates you know dates are 40 50% only sugar you know sometimes we feel dates are very good for health no they are not very good for health because except minerals they have only sugar nothing much theek hai guys so let's take one or two mcqs okay If you have any question, 
फर्स्ट वी विल टेक द एमसीक्यूज राइट सो पहले तो ये बताओ किस किस को समझ में आ गया अंडरस्टूड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन टिल नाउ आई कैन आंसर राइट दिस इज वॉट वी डू एट डैम स्ट्राइक वी ट्राई टू आंसर योर मेप्री क्वेश्चन राइट एज सुन एज पॉसिबल ओके सो इफ यू हैनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग दिस बिकॉज यू नो दाइज द टाइम इज चेंज एंड द कॉन्सेप्चुअल थिंग्स विल हेल्प यू है ना नॉट द सिंपल रट अप्लीकेशन है ना आपसे कोई पाथ पर डायरेक्टली नहीं पूछेगा कि पता फ्रक्टोज का फोर्थ स्टेप कौन सा था मेटाबोलिज्म का है ना दैट इज द रेयरेस्ट ऑफ रेयर चांस दैट समी विल आस्क यू लाइक दैट बट दे विल आस्क यू द एप्लीकेशन पार्ट नाउ स्पेशली नाउ द थिंग्स आर चेंजिंग ओके नो डाउट इन दिस आई एन आई सी टी वी गॉट लिटिल लेस क्लिनिकल एप्लीकेशन क्वेश्चन ओके दे वर डायरेक्टली वन लाइनर्स मोर कॉमनली बट वेन द नेक्स्ट पैटर्न स्टार्ट यू डोट नो प्रोबेबली दिस इयर सो दैट विल बी समथिंग डिफरेंट दैट विल बी ऑल क्लिनिकल सिनेरियो सो थैंक यू अवनी सहेज प्रीत यू लाइक द सेशन ओके सो आई होप यू यू नो अदर पीपल आर ऑल्सो यू नो दे केमिकल बैलेंस इज नॉट चेंज है ना बिकॉज वट आई थिंक इज दिस यू नो वेन आई टॉक अबाउट बायोकेमिस्ट्री इज लाइक दिस यू नो दैट टोटल सब्जेक्ट स्टॉट इन एमबीबीएस आर नाइनटीन ना राइट सो दीज आर द एटीन सब्जेक्ट एंड दिस इज द बायोकेमिस्ट्री टेस्ट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड ओके फाइन अंडरस्टूड सो लेट्स टेक देखो आफ्टर दस लेट्स टेक वन सिंपल एमसीक्यू ओके हाँ भार्गवी ओके भार्गवी यू डेंट गेट लैक्टिक एसिडोसिस नो प्रॉब्लम सी वॉट आई टोल्ड यू दैट सी नाउ यू आर आस्किंग यू टू लैक्टिक एसिडोसिस सो आई विल टेल यू अगेन ओके लैक्टिक एसिडोसिस सो देखो ये क्यों होगा एक तो मैंने आपको बताया कि डिक्रीज ए हुआ अच्छा चलो इसको ऐसे समझते हैं डिक्रीज बीटा ऑक्सीडेशन समझ में आ गया तुम्हें है ना सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट देर इज डिक्रीज इन ए टी पी सेकेंड इज के ए टी पी और द फॉस्फेट इज ट्रैप्ड एज प्रोज वन फॉस्फेट सो दैट इज ऑल्सो लीडिंग टू डिक्रीज इन ए टी पी Yes, Sora. I teach. Definitely, I'm teaching for the last seven years for both the batches. Every batch. Okay. <laughs> Correct, na? <laughs> right. <clears throat> so, beta oxidation and ATP and phosphate is trapped as fructose one phosphate. So, if ATP is are decreased, you know, there is decrease in gluconeogenesis. Right. so ab gluconeogenesis the lactate alanine is the most important substrate okay but lactate is the second most important substrate of the kyunki rbc roz itna sara lactate bana ke blood mein dal raha hai hai na wo kahan ja raha hai yaar hai na wo liver use kar raha hai mera in the in between the meals to make some glucose or at least in the night let's say to make some glucose okay so this lactate is a substrate for gluconeogenesis so this lactate will now accumulate theek hai right so that is your okay the cause of lactic acidosis aur maine ek aur bataya ki uric acid levels are high so this will also lead to lactic acid accumulation because they have a similar uh, uh transporter चलो यार फटाफट से भार्गवी राइट एक क्वेश्चन है हम सिंपल सा ओके सो नेक्स्ट टाइम ट्राई टू अवॉइड नॉट बायोकेमिस्ट्री ट्राई टू अवॉइड फ्रक्टोज है ना बींग ए डॉक्टर वी शुड नो एटलीस्ट वी शुड अवॉइड fructose
it's not necessary that we avoid <laughs> okay <coughs> so guys chalo ek 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 important question lete hain seedha theek hai chalo mujhe ye batao simple question thank you yeah if you like it okay <coughs> इिबल नहीं ग्लूकोनियोजेनेसिस में तो यूज हो सकता है ना डीएचएपी राइट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड बैक टू द ग्लूकोज ना राइट यू एक्चुअली डू द इन द ग्लूकोनियोजेनेसिस राइट सहज प्रीत इन द ग्लूकोनियोजेनेसिस दे स्टार्ट फ्रॉम पाइवेट ही ना पूरा ग्लाइकोलिस हम रिवर्स करते हैं विद हेल्प ऑफ फोर डिफरेंट एंजाइम्स एट वी नीड so we have the separate enzymes huh, to make it reversible right chalo ye answer batao <clears throat> so yaar dekho yahan pe main jo highlight karna cha raha hu the baby had lethargy okay uh baby was being switched from breast milk to baby foods and juices okay right child had uh, even vomiting at all right baby's appetite seemed to have worsened okay पॉसिबल एंजाइम डिफेक्ट सो यार अभी तो बहुत ईजी लग रहा है मुझे सो इट इज आंसर इज एल डब्ल्यूज ठीक है बट जब हम एग्जाम में होंगे तब ये पॉइंट कम आएंगे हमें जैसे कि द सेम क्वेश्चन आई कैन टेक ओके बेबी वॉज बीन दैट थ्री ईयर ओल्ड है ना फ्रूट वॉज पार्ट ऑफ द डाइट ओके सो एज लॉन्ग एज फ्रूट वॉज विद्रॉन फ्रॉम आर डाइट चाइल्ड डिड नॉट डिस्प्ले सच सिम्टम्स ठीक है So what is the answer? Very good, everyone. Hundred out of hundred, <clears throat> right? Uh, so I expect I will come back to your question. B H P. Oh, I I I didn't explain. I think I explained. So clear. Sana da mini everyone clear, right? This answer will be the question book. What is the answer of question two? So answer will be in this case D, right? So you can see. so whenever you see a question on the weaning and the fruits so guys baby had no problem still given the breast feeding okay <clears throat> till the baby was given breast feeding ye point hamesha yaad rakhna weaning wala point breast feeding mein koi problem nahi hogi jab tak breast feed hoga and diet has fruits or sugars sucrose ha huh? sweets etc theek hai <clears throat> so that's your Elevated level of fructose and phosphate, है ना क्योंकि फॉस्फेट ट्रैप ये सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हो गया और इस वजह से एटीपी विल बी डिक्रीज है ना सो दैट इज वट आई नीड टू रिमेम्बर ओके जैसे लेट्स टेक द क्वेश्चन है ना आई नाई सी टी पैटर्न इफ आई टेक सो लास्ट क्वेश्चन दैट यू कैन आंसर मी Not last, second last. <clears throat> I have four question for you. Two I have discussed. Okay. अच्छा यहाँ पे देखो यार. See, uh, if I look at the other option, देखो galactokinins. हाँ. Huh? This leads to non-classical galactosemia, which has no symptoms except cataract, right? And cataract occurs very late in the life, after three to four months of the life. हाँ. Huh? अब एक पॉइंट और याद रखो एवरीवन प्लीज राइट वन मोर पॉइंट राइट दैट व्हेन आई टेक ग्लूकोज और गैलेक्टोज यू नो आई टेक एंजाइम दैट्स कॉल्ड एज एल्डोज रिडक्टेज व्हिच इज वेरी डेंजरस एंजाइम इन डायबिटिक्स सो दिस विल फॉर्म सॉर्बिटॉल फ्रॉम द ग्लूकोज और दिस विल फॉर्म डलसीटॉल फ्रॉम द गैलेक्टोज या गैलेक्टिटॉल यू कैन सी गैलेक्टिटॉल ओके सो आई कैन राइट द Better name, 
that is galaxy tall okay <clears throat> fine so these are osmotic both are osmotic and this leads to cataract okay like in diabetic snowflake cataract understood so why the fructose is safe in this regard huh? because guys we don't have any sugar uh, because fructose is not a alto sugar fructose is a keto sugar okay fructose is a keto sugar so guys fructose accumulation like in hereditary fructose intolerance will not cause the cataract so you can answer this why because there is nothing like a ketose reductase enzyme mm -hmm. okay nothing like a ketose reductase enzyme hai na abhi se question mein fructokinase kyun nahi answer because fructokinase has no symptoms at all only lab finding that's it right no symptoms only lab finding yahan pe bhi no symptoms only cataract by the age of 3 to 4 months non classically <coughs> galactosemia okay fine so understood so that's your question okay so last question answer me <clears throat> so simple you can okay one point i didn't mention to you guys please remember okay hereditary fructose intolerance also presents with renal tubular dysfunction right okay and they will be generalized amino acid uria please write it okay right <clears throat> generalized amino acid uria fanconi syndrome like situation is seen in hereditary fructose intolerance it is very common if it is not diagnosed and not treated well in advance okay <clears throat> right to so, baki answer you already know yes c and e uh, we don't have any hyperglycemia actually we have hypoglycemia so this is and this is cataract we don't see okay right so this is like inicd pattern this here they had also single answer mcqs but okay some questions like that very good mohammad wasim right rajneesh everyone very good very good to tum bade acche bachche ho yaar sab hum pehle se tumhe baal ke maati bhi hai thodi si theek hai thodi si to aati hai definitely na aur क्वेश्चन भी ईजी हैं बहुत ऐसे ही आते हैं एग्जाम्स में मुझे कुछ पी जी नहीं करनी इनमें बेसिक्स आना चाहिए ठीक है गलती नहीं होनी चाहिए बेसिक पॉइंट में बस ठीक है जैसे एक क्वेश्चन जो ओल्ड एग्जाम का ही क्वेश्चन है दिस इज द क्वेश्चन आस्ट इन सम ओल्ड एग्जाम सो वेरी सिंपल इफ यू कैन आंसर दिस लास्ट क्वेश्चन सो सी वट इज द पॉइंट रिमेंबर हेयर ओके so this is very basic concept question you know there is nothing like a clinical scenario here so this compound gives a positive reducing sugar test so all in the option gives this positive sugar test but was negative for glucose oxidase right so that means it's not glucose huh? so we can rule out this option okay so treatment with acid hydrolysis okay did not increase the amount of reducing sugar so only disaccharides if i take right then they will be converted into two sugar so the amount of reducing sugar did not double by adding the acid so matlab ye option b rule out hai so obviously then we have to left with the answer okay understood very good damini everybody can anjali very good very good very good बहुत बढ़िया यार बहुत ही बेहतरीन परफॉर्मेंस क्लियर सो इफ यू आर एक्टिव राइट नाउ है ना तो फिर यार मतलब कोई रोक नहीं सकता आपको ना फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में टू क्लियर एग्जाम्स इफ यू आर एक्टिव राइट नाउ है ना एक बार टॉपिक पढ़ के आप यू आर एबल टू आंसर एवरी क्वेश्चन ठीक है बस यही सब है बस एक मैंने जो पॉइंट लास्ट में बोला रीनल ट्यूबलेट डिस्कंक्शन जनरलाइज अमाइनो एसिड यूरिया इज ए डायग्नोस्टिक इज 
is the diagnostic uh, text we add to the you know like lactic acidosis so you hypoglycemia ho gaya, then raised transamine is gaya, plus amino acid urea is also there so remember that one also yes. okay fine guys clear so that's it so guys uh, i have a group so first of all you know uh, the dams if you are uh, the new student here right attending my demo lecture only so we have started uh, you know with the dams we have started the ultimate live course okay that is the app based course so what is the specialty of this course is it's not just the pre-recorded lecture it will be live right it will be live on the app right and rest lots of features you will get that you already know probably yesterday also that uh, you know you got so if you want to join then you can uh, use the code right if anyone who is not already part of dams right so then you can use this code to get some discount and please join my group dams biochemistry telegram channel okay and if you have any doubt any any question regarding the subject i will definitely answer it right within a day or with the in the same day fine guys so thank you so much guys okay if you want to join then use this code please right so we both will be benefited you and me <laughs> right okay so chalo, thank you so much and uh, hope to see you thank you sana kosar you like the class and i will try to make every topic interesting like this and in the future also fine sometimes you know uh, because of time constraint we have to uh, you know move little faster but you know we cover them in the questions and uh, tnds that you will get with this course right so tnds and all will be there okay so thank you so much and good night okay <clears throat> Yes, for everyone here, you know, Saurabh Kumar, this course is for everyone, for, you know, pre-foundation, foundation, or MBBS done or not done, right, okay. So, you can find more information, right, on the app itself, or you can, uh, you know, call to the dam site office, you know, they will assist you, and they will give you all the information, right, okay. Mm -hmm.